church actually is not a burden. Oh, it's okay. It's a It's okay. the people, his followers. Okay, okay. So, so when he told Peter that thou art Peter upon this rock, I will burn my church. He has in mind that a church is coming. And that is where all those who have been baptized will, should be. Okay, so when you are baptized, God automatically, you see, add you to the church. You see, it's something done in heaven. It's not, there is not the person baptizing you. Or it's not the pastor. But God automatically add you to the church. Once again, beloved, I greet you and I welcome you to Lawson Media. My name is Boche Steven, and you know for sure that whenever I get in my seat here, it's about we uh, dismantling those several assertions that have been made against Christianity uh, since time immemorial. Uh, today, I'm actually going to help you with uh, some um, ideology in regards to where to enter after being baptized. I'll be get with me, but the binder will actually take us through again. I'll be get it's going to help us with uh, what actually is meant by water baptism. Is it very much necessary? Though he actually helped us with a lot of stuff about it, and he's going to dive somewhat deep into it. And he has some stuff to give us over here, he's going to help us a lot, and also about infant baptism, and also where to be drenched into where to go to after you've been baptized do we baptize to go to anywhere we want as christians or is there a specific place designed for us to be after bapt uh, baptism or after baptizing us uh christians shall we take a quick break and return <music> Welcome back, beloved. May God richly bless you. I'm actually having Brother Biney on the line. He's actually with us from uh, USA, USA, Maryland, uh, Church of Christ. He's a preacher and uh, surely he's an apologist. Uh, if you watch his programs on his platform on YouTube, YouTube, seriously, he has several lot of followings over there and several many people actually likes his video. Uh, most especially myself, I like his program a lot. He gets time to educate you on several lot of stuff in regards to doctor. Doctrine. Well, doctrine do say, as First, first Timothy 4, verse number 16 says, Brother Bindi, uh, you welcome to Lost in Media. You are my pleasure. Okay, so what's the full name? Is it Ken Bindi, right? Yeah, you call me Ken Bindi, yes. Okay, so in which uh, church do you preach? I preach a church of Christ, a Ghana congregation, Maryland. Okay, so please can you volume up a bit for me? Hello? Church of Christ, Ghana Congregation, Maryland. Do you okay. hear me? Oh, yes, please. It seems your tone is somewhat down, so I would love for you to uh, volume up a bit okay. for me. All right. Okay. All right. Hold on, please. All right. Hold on a little bit. Okay, so on. we are still with Brother Biney, and he's actually doing some setup, and we will get him back on the line. He's actually telling us uh, stuff about himself. He's in the uh, Maryland Church of Christ, the Ghana congreg Congregation, I'll be in USA. Um, he's uh, done several lot of stuff on the net, and uh, his teachings are very much superb. So, Bani, please, um, you were helping us with what's uh, where you where you preaches and all that. Yeah. So my my name is Kid Bani. I'm very much pleased for you to have me on this line. Okay. Um, uh, it's well appreciated. Uh, I live in uh, Maryland, uh, in the U.S. Uh, my church is Church of Christ Ghana Congregation in Maryland. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's a little introduction about the uh, King Biney, King Biney of uh, Merida, Maryland Church of Christ um, in the USA. But the Bindi, please, I know for sure you've heard a lot about baptism and recently we had a program on that. Are you actually going to help us with uh, why it's very much essential? It's why it's very much essential. 
Yeah, baptism is very much itself because we are baptized into Christ. Okay. You are baptized into Christ. Just as the Bible says in Galatians 3.27, that as many of you that have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So this means that in order for you to put on Christ, you need to be baptized. You see, and then uh, Christ, when Christ came, he built a church, okay? So, the, uh, he, in Matthew chapter 16... Please, you said, when Christ came, he built a church. Yes. Like, himself, he, he had a mortar, he had a concrete, he had um, iron rods, and he, he had masons, or he himself was a mason. They didn't do it... Uh, how, how did he build it? <laughs> okay, so, uh, what, 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 I mean, what's meant by church? So do, are we talking church, about the temple... Is, Church actually is not the building. Oh, it's okay. The it's okay. the people, it's his followers. Okay. okay. So when so, he told Peter that thou art Peter upon this rock, I will build my church. He has in mind that a church is coming. And that is where all those who have been baptized will, should be. Okay. So when you are baptized, God automatically, you see, add you to the church. You see, it's something done in heaven. It's not the it's not the person baptizing you, or it's not the pastor, but God automatically adds you to the church. Okay, but please. When we talk about the church, we are talking about the church which Christ built. Okay, so so please, I think I will have to be pausing you and be asking questions over here because I like I love to help my addressees. Okay, so you were saying. Uh, Jesus Christ actually established his own church and you've explained that it isn't a building. When we talk of church, uh, it's the called out. And I think I've ever heard people saying it's from the Greek ecclesia. Ecclesia, that is ek, that is out of. And, and uh, what is it? Um, lazia, that is, um, uh, what is it? That is, uh, is that it? Have I gotten it correct? Ecclesia, right? You are, you are, you are right. <laughs> okay, are okay. Right. Okay, so meaning the called out people, right? So yes. uh, you mean the church is people, but not a building. And again, you said Jesus said that he would build his church on Peter. Please, if Jesus built his church on Peter, is Peter not supposed to be the founder of uh, Christianity or the church? No, the church was not built on Peter. The church was built on Christ. Uh, but please, First Corinthians. You, you said, um, you said Jesus said that the uh, he would build his church. You are Peter, and yes. on on you I will build my church. Please, is that not what the Bible says? He said, Thou art Peter, upon this rock I will build my church. Okay, so Christ used the term rock. So the, the word Peter, you see, is in the original language is Petros. Petros, okay. Petros, meaning a small stone. Okay, that is Greek, Petra, right? Yes, and Petra means a big rock. Oh, okay. okay. So Christ said, Thou art Petros, and upon this Petra, oh. I will build my church. Wow, wow, wow. So, so I think, but the Bible is well abreast also in Greek. Wow, I love the way you 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 helping us with the Greek. And I think that's going to help us with a lot of interpretations over here. Okay, so according to Brother Baini, um, Peter, the term Peter is from the Greek Petras, Petras. And also, uh, Jesus said that he's going to build his church on Petra. That is, Petra is different from Petras. Uh, there are two Petros. Greek different words. Yeah, okay. Petras and Petra. Okay. So, so he asks, yeah, he asks, he asks the apostles, whom do men say that? And, and the Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living one, God. God. Okay. So Christ said, you are Peter, because Ajuna, mm -hmm. for God has revealed this to you. Okay. And okay. upon your confession, you see, upon the rock that, the, the rock, the confession that I am the son of God. Okay. You, Peter, I will build my church. So upon okay. upon the name you mentioned, upon the term Christ, I will build my church, right? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, okay. So you mean so Jesus Christ upon, was actually referring to his own name? Yes, exactly. Okay. So when you so Christ is the rock, okay, in First Corinthians, 
he say uh, 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 in chapter uh, 10 verse 4 but third four okay see, the bible teaches that they drank from the spiritual rock and that rock which follows them was christ okay so there is, is no the other foundation that can be laid first corinthians 3 verse 11 okay which is laid and that foundation is jesus christ okay, okay according so to christ uh okay christ is the foundation okay mm -hmm. and then the apostles began the work so he didn't say peter is the foundation of the church no peter is just one of the apostles but a key leader that christ used to start his church in us chapter uh, uh two in us chapter two in the year 33 AD. that is where the church began okay um please i won't get you short what proof do you have uh to back up this idea that if a person the moment a person is baptized that person needs to enter into the church you're talking about the church that christ established yeah because the bible teaches says that you are baptized as many of you that has been baptized into christ okay in romans chapter 6 verse 3 to verse 4 even up to verse 7. Okay. You see, as many of you that have been baptized into Christ, you see, okay. in baptism you are buried with him. So, the Bible also teaches in Galatians 3.27 okay. that as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Okay? okay? So in order to put on Christ, you have to be baptized into what? Christ. But okay. Christ, the Christ, you see, is the church, the body, the body, the Bible talks about the body. There is one body, okay, Colossians 1 verse 18, okay, okay? And, and there is one body, and that body is the what? Is the church, okay? okay? So it means that to be in Christ, it means to be in his church. In order for you to be in the church, you have to be baptized. So, so, okay? so, so if I, if I'm... Automatically uh, yeah, I'm if I'm getting you correct, um, you, you're going by the idea that for a person to be in Christ, just as you, you cited Galatians 3 verse number, is it 27, right? Verse number 27. Yes. yes. Right, where the Bible it's says that, yeah, okay, where the Bible says that when a, the moment a person is baptized, that person puts on Christ. So you cannot just put on Christ without being an SJ, that's what you mean? Exactly. Okay, so and it's going with the uh what actually but the bible says in ephesians 4 uh verse number 4 where the bible says there is only one body and you i think backed it up with a proof in colossians 1 verse number 18 where the bible says uh that uh he is the head of the body the church so the bible actually specifically said that the actual one body paul was making reference to in, in ephesians 4 verse number 4 has to do with uh the church thus if the if the body of christ is only one it really mean the church of christ or the church that belongs to christ is only one wow that's very nice exactly. okay exactly okay. and then another thing you have to know is as to verse 47 okay okay in as to verse 47 mm -hmm. the bible says that and the lord added to the church mm -hmm. daily you see, okay. Uh, please, please. I think I, I, I will have, to, I will have to pause you here, and I want you to take your time to explain this. So, uh, in Acts two forty seven, you mean the Bible says that and the Lord add, added them to the church. I don't know if you've ever had an encounter. I have this um, black American friend, Toby Ellison. We normally talks, and he, I was in a time a discussion at the church with him, and it was like, no, Jesus Christ didn't establish any church. It was just a movement. The apostles had no church. It was just a movement. But I think it is the, it's the time of the apostles you're referencing right now. And the Bible is saying in Acts 2 verse 47, uh, those that were baptized, those 3,000 people on the day of Pentecost days, uh, were all drenched into a church. And even not a, exactly. but the church, right? The, church, that church. is make, making reference to what actually we've already heard. Uh, Christ saying right. that he was going to build. Wow, meaning Christ had a church, and in this church, all the apostles were drained into. Okay, okay. Exactly. I, I love it a lot. So, so okay. the 3,000 people were added to the church. Okay. So from this time onwards, anyone who believes in Christ, who will repent and follow the teaching of Christ, okay, and is get baptism okay. to the church, 
So it is very necessary for people to know about the church which Jesus Christ built. Wow. It's very, wow. very important. Wow. Because God didn't say that I'll go in my church and then he left it like that. Okay. In Acts 20, verse 28. Mm-hmm. Acts 20, verse 28. Home bride. Mm-hmm. Okay, he purchased the child with his own blood. So okay. imagine you you bought something with your blood. Yeah. And someone comes and says that, oh, that thing is not there. You didn't buy it. Christ didn't build any church. Okay. That is wrong. The okay. Bible teaches says very plainly in the beginning of Christianity that there is one church and okay. Christ is the one who built the church. Okay, and he is the head okay Brother Biden, I church. think I think if I'm getting you correct, you mean that a person uh, shouldn't be baptized and be directed to wheresoever they wishes. You get that? That uh, perhaps you've been baptized. Oh, I'm preaching, and you want to be baptized. I will call. I will call. I will call out to you. And the moment I'm, I baptize you, I tell you, oh, find any Bible believing church to enter. Uh, is that cool? Is it good to say that as a preacher? Not good to say that okay. because Christ said in Matthew chapter twenty-eight that go and make disciples of all nations. Okay. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Teaching them. Mm -hmm. So teaching them. So after you are baptized, you still have to continue to what? To teach. Okay. Okay. So you don't leave them to go without giving them the right teaching or the right doctrine of Christ. Okay. Okay? The reason is that there is a lot of false teachings going on. Even the baptism we are talking about right now. Okay. Some people believe that it's not essential to salvation. Mm-hmm. Some people believe that you don't even need baptism. Yeah. Okay, so to so such a person who has been baptized onto such group of people, because he's going to he or she is going to be polluted mm-hmm. with false what doctrine. Doctrine, yeah. Okay. So when you get baptized, you have to fool the church as Christ bird. And then you follow up with the teaching, okay. and that will establish your faith very well. Wow, wow! Well, I think we, we we thank you a lot, brother Biney. I think also in um, Romans six verse number three uh, through six, the Bible says that uh, the moment a person is baptized, that person actually. Uh, go, gets into the death of Christ, the burial, and his resurrection. And again, the person is drenched into Christ's body, and you baptize into the body of Christ, and the body of Christ has to do with the church of Christ. That's exactly what Brother Biden is, uh, is helping us with over here. And, if, and Ephesians chapter uh, 1, verse number 20, 22 and 23 also says so. We've been reading from uh, verse number 17 down to 23. You get to know that uh, the Bible actually specifically that, uh, ascribe it to uh, Jesus Christ, meaning Jesus Christ didn't just die, okay, and that's all. He died and he purchased uh, the, his church with his, his with his own blood, okay. Uh, first Peter chapter uh, one verse number eighteen says it's a precious blood, say, okay. Yeah, that that is if you need an inheritance, okay. You see, you want to inherit something that is a church, okay. The church is an inheritance Christ left, all right, for the rest of the way. Okay. Qu- qu- quickly, I think, Brother Biney, have you ever heard uh, people saying this? Uh, they, they go like, Jesus Christ actually came purposely to establish his church, but he wasn't able to do it. Uh, he didn't finish his work because he was killed by the Romans, the Roman soldiers. What do you say about that? They say he, he, he just left uh, something else uh, for some short period, and the, the time he returned fully, uh, he's not going to be killed, and he's going to be able to establish his kingdom and all that. Is it, is, is it really true? Was, did Christ no, fail? It- first true. time it's not uh, it, 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 it's not true it's a misunderstanding of the scriptures okay because after the resurrection of christ okay in luke chapter 24 mm-hmm. from verse 44 to verse 49 okay christ said these are the words which i spoke with you why i was still with you okay? okay that everything written about me in the book of psalms in the prophets mm-hmm. and in the law might be fulfilled Okay. And he opened it, their eyes and they understood yeah. the scripture. And he said, It behold, that Christ should die and be resurrected on the third day. Okay. And that repentance and remission mm-hmm. of sin okay. should be preached in his the beginning at what? At Jerusalem. Wow. Okay. Wow. So that was a short, this is the statement made after Christ. Okay. And it's true. In Acts chapter 2, 
that is the beginning of the new era right. of repentance and remission. Because when they asked Peter, men and brethren, what shall we do? He said, repent and be what? Baptized. Baptized. This is the beginning of the new era. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, but God so bless you. So, started. so Christ didn't fail. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled his mission. Okay. That he has to die to redeem man. Wow. Okay. So that doctrine is a misunderstanding. Okay. Uh, may God bless you, Brother Biney, and I think you've helped us a lot with a lot of understanding. I don't know if you've ever heard. Uh, have you ever heard of this man, Akosiewa, of Pillar of Zion? Well, I, I he I've heard about him, but I haven't heard about what he did. Okay, I think um, uh, right now he's somewhat down a bit because he was very loud in the system. And I think several challenges were thrown to him for uh, debate uh, from Peter Cranton and all that, but it didn't come on. And I think uh, th th this time round, I was in SHS when he used to be teaching that uh, baptism is very essential. But then uh, he was calling out for all his addresses, all those that hears him out. He said, you should come and he will baptize you. Uh, he will give you the right baptism. Then you go to your church. <laughs> was he right? No, he's, he's not right. Okay, it's okay. not right because he said God wants his people to be one. Okay. God wants his followers to be one. Okay. Okay. And then uh, it's more clear to everybody living now that when you go to Roman, what they do is different from what the Methodists do. And what the Methodists do is different from what the Jehovah Witnesses do. And what the Jehovah Witnesses do is different from what the Presbyterian do. Okay. And what we do is different from what the SDS. Yeah. So the, we are they are not doing the same thing. Okay? okay. They are not doing the same thing. The fact is that God wants His people to be one. Okay. The the teaching is one. Yes, man has misinterpreted the word and then brought this word confusion. Wow. So, so man has misinterpreted the scriptures. Exactly. And has this brought about fact. this confusion. May God richly bless you with the binding and, and soul. That doesn't change that doesn't change the stand of God. When you read your Bible from the Old Testament, man cannot change the purpose of God. Okay. Okay. So because man has brought confusion, it doesn't mean that God will also follow the confusion of man. Okay. No. God will stand. That's why it's necessary for everyone to search for the truth and know the truth. Wow. And put yourself in, and that could be very helpful uh, wow. for 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 you, rather than saying that everybody is the truth. No, all of us cannot be the truth because we, we are using one Bible, but we are not doing the same thing. There is something wrong somewhere. Very true. May God richly bless you. Someone said I I can't remember a friend of mine, and also I've taken him as my father, uh, Mr. Ochre David my English corrector. He was like, um, you can use the Bible to practice the staffs of our kingdom, but that doesn't necessarily make you part of the kingdom. I think it was strong quote. And again, guess as Brother Biney was saying, uh, yes, you need to search for the truth and truth sets free. You get the truth exonerates. Okay. Uh, truth vindicates. I hope you get to it. I mean, Jesus Christ actually said, it, uh, this in John chapter 8 verse 32 he said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free and if we are well rightly dividing the Bible or the word of truth surely we're going to be able to ascertain what actually is true okay that's exactly what is stipulated in um, is it in first Timothy uh, second Timothy chapter uh, 3 verse number 16 uh, yeah, first Timothy 3 verse number 16, actually Paul said this to Timothy. He told him to write, to rightfully divide the word of truth. And again, we actually going to talk about what truth is. Truth is what will help us to know for sure that this is true Christianity. This is exactly what should be practiced in Christianity. And I think we were talking about instrumental music, uh, this Hiribaba Hiribaba stuff, and all that. Anointing oil and all that. We're going to be talking about all this. And I think on this show, it's going to be awesome. So, but the binding, make sure to get yourself well prepared for me. Because next time, uh, we're we, we, we actually going to talk about uh, how we can identify the church Christ established by using the Bible. And the Bible is going to be the measure uh, being uh, put 
or uh, yeah, the measure being put for uh, the practices that are going on in churches around the congregations or uh, denominational churches and all that. And we will pinpoint them uh, the errors by the Bible, and you get to know that no, uh, if they are beating drums here, if they are saying hiri baba, hiri baba, and I'm selling anointing oil and blah 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 blah, is it the real one or it isn't the real one? It's going to be very hot on the show. May God Richard bless you, brother Bainey. Your final words in two minutes, and we ended up. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, brother uh, uh, Wache, for your comment. you and that, and that is the truth. People should search for the truth. Yeah. Okay, if you love God, if you love God, obey his commandments. Okay. Okay. Now, in in, in, uh, in Second John, in Second John, verse 9. Okay. Okay. He said, we have to stay in the doctrine of yeah. Christ. If we don't stay in the doctrine of Christ, then we don't have what God. Okay. Look at how it is so. You stay in the doctrine of Christ, then you have God. Yeah. If you don't stay, you don't have what God. God. Yeah. So the fact that people will think that God will change His ways, mm -hmm. because man keep on changing. Look at what is going on now. Everybody has money. They want to open up a church. Yeah. Okay, and then gather people and start doing some strange things and they they, they say this is the church okay <laughs> that's good it yeah. took jesus christ <laughs> it took jesus christ a great planning from okay. the beginning he took the prophets a pr great planning okay. he came on the earth planning to establish the church it is it's a long process and then put all the parameters in okay. place before he left this way Okay. You see, so the, in the worshiping of God, God doesn't leave it for human beings. I repeat that. God does not leave his worship and his method of worship in the hands of okay. human beings. Okay. It happens in the Old Testament. It happens in the New Testament. It happened God in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. But by any please, your time is up. <laughs> if I leave you, I think you're going to uh, you're going to begin a program. May God richly bless you. We are actually I going to wrap them up in okay. our next program. It's going to be awesome over there. Uh, beloved, that was Brother Biney for you, Brother Ken Biney. Yes, what he's saying is is true. I actually had a debate with uh, this man. He's, he says he's rabbi. He's currently in Israel. And we had the debate on phone. I'll be getting to me and Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam was the moderator. It was a very interesting debate. Uh, seriously, I'm yet to discover if they're actually going to come on board for the debate again. It was about church staff. I'll be getting to me. If you haven't yet come again, Uncle Sam, I think you can uh, arrange it for us and we're going to do it over here and i think i have brother Biney also over here is going to join at this uh debate and also uh but mr daniel daniel i think i've forgotten the rest of your name uh we had a debate on phone and uncle sam was uh the uh moderator i'll be getting to me and you are also in canada you said you are the, you are head of the prophets you are head of the prophets and uh, seriously you linked me up uh to your rabbi and seriously it didn't end up anywhere because we are going to continue but i didn't see you again and this nigerian um, I say, are you a pastor or something? And you have a great congregation in an uh, in Canada. Okay, you are in the auditorium of Uncle Sam. And seriously, I know you're watching this program. Our debate hasn't yet come on. I have Brother Biney on this on the line, and surely uh, he's going to be part of our, our program. And it's going to be uh, awesome over here. If you're hearing us out, make sure to drop your comments. Make sure to drop your likes and also uh, share the program for us and uh, uh, make sure to help us in reaching out to several many people. May God richly bless you, Brother Biney, and thanks for your time. Shout out to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>